I know we were supposed to run through another video today, but as you can see, we have an unexpected guest. The big fella wandered in a few minutes ago. He seems pretty happy, but that calm demeanor can change in a snap. Come on, follow me. It's not so bad conducting our business out here. It's a beautiful day. And besides, I'd rather tell you how to tame your line of credit than do the same with the big fella in there. Now, where were we? Right, lines of credit. Like many loan products, a line can be a good or a bad thing. For instance, if something unexpected comes up, not like our friend back there, but a big expense like a leaky roof, a line of credit can really come in handy. But don't give in to temptation. A line may seem like easy money, but if you let temptation take you away, you can quickly find yourself buried in debt. But let's look at the positives. After all, when used properly, a line of credit can be a great addition to your overall financial picture. If you're not familiar, a line of credit is a loan that lets you spend up to a certain amount. So why not just get a regular loan? Well, a line of credit is different because you don't pay interest until you use it. You can use as much of it as you want and pay back any amount, as long as you make the minimum monthly set by your lender. Minimum payments may be a combination of interest and principal, or interest only. My advice to you when considering a line of credit is to wipe minimum out of your vocabulary. Unless it's an emergency, you should only use your line of credit if you know you have the funds to pay off as much of the principal as you can, so you don't wind up just paying off the interest. Next, you've got to consider if you want a secure or unsecured line of credit. If you choose a secured line, it'll be backed by GICs, you know, guaranteed investment certificates, or the equity in your house. This lowers the risk to your credit union or bank, so you can get a lower interest rate, lower monthly payments, and even a higher limit. Add it all up, and you can wind up saving a ton of cash, especially if you're planning on using a big chunk of your line. Now's the time to ask, how much of a limit should you take? Well, lines can range from thousands to hundreds of thousands and beyond. How much you can go up to depends on things like if it's secured or not, your credit score, your income, and other outstanding financial obligations, such as car payments and your mortgage. A big plus for a line of credit is that it has a much lower rate than you can ever dream to get with credit cards. You can typically get a line with one to 3% above prime. If you remember from a previous video, prime is the rate that's suggested by the Bank of Canada that most banks base their lending interest rates on. Back to point. A line of credit offers a better rate than any credit card, which can charge you 19% or higher. But remember, rates rise and drop, and so does the rate on your line. So if you run up a big balance when rates are low, you can get in a pickle if they start to climb. There are a lot of different uses for a line of credit. Some people use it to invest. Using stocks as an example, you can make the minimum payment until it's time to sell and realize a gain. Then, the interest you paid on the amount used to buy the investment is tax deductible. Some advisors recommend borrowing to make a larger RRSP contribution before tax time so you can get a bigger refund, but only if you're able to pay the money back before you have to pay too much interest. Like any loan product, it's a smart move to speak to your credit union or financial advisor to see how you can use one to your best advantage. A line of credit can really come in handy, but only when you use it properly. A key to managing your line is staying within your limits. After all, it can be tempting to buy that outboard or renovate your kitchen since you have the funds available. You might even have more practical purposes, like using a line of credit to pay off high interest credit card balances. But even this can be dangerous if you don't show some discipline because you can run those card balances back up. That just about wraps things up for today. Hopefully our big furry friend has found another thing to pique his interest. 
Until next time, you can brush up on your financial literacy by watching our other videos at northernknowhow.com. We've also got some handy tools and resources for you to download. See ya!